we're going to now um, move to adding furniture um, for this model. And so in this case, um, let's go back to our first floor view. So in this case, I'm already logged in, so be sure that you log into your Autodesk. I'm going to click on Insert and then click on Load Autodesk Family. When I do that, you can see that there's other objects here. Before I do that, I do want to sort of see what's already embedded in this project. So I'm going to start looking um, to insert some components for my model so that, uh, so that I can actually um, start adding things. So here we're seeing architectures as component. And I'm just going to click on that, and you'll see that there's several things already here. I'm going to see if there's things that, um, that could be useful for me. So in my case, I see that there's a bed. I'm going to go with the king bed, and I'm going to place it right there. So I already have something. Let's see if there's anything else that could be useful. In my case, um, to do have a base cabinet, maybe we can put one of those. Uh, uh, let me see. Dishwasher, downline, dryer. Um, things like these are not that needed or helpful. So let's see if I want to just put like a like a desk. Um, the shortcut for component is also CM. So let me see if we have a desk here. There's no desk here. So let's go to insert. And I'll click on load auto test family. And I want to find a desk. So I'm just going to simply search for the word desk. There's nothing really showing up. The reason so is because I'm under plumbing. So I do have to be under all results. And I'm going to click on desk one more time. And there we go. So I'm going to click, I really like, let's say, this desk. But I also want to bring it with this with a chair. So I'm going to bring those two in. So now uh, I need to go back to architecture and component. I can press CM. You can see how the desk becomes loaded because it was the last thing that was added. So I just want to create an experience that someone can actually have a desk in this place. And I'm going to press CM and I'm going to check uh, search for that desk chair. There we go. I find it. I'm pressing space to rotate it. I'm going to rotate the place it there. Looks pretty good. But what if there's things that I couldn't really find there? You can also go to uh, other websites such as BIM Object. So sometimes you won't find everything in, in the Autodesk library, but as I mentioned, you can use other websites. Some of those include BIMObject.com, RevitCity.com, uh, BIMSmith.com, uh, LibraryRevit.com. So if for some reason, let's say BIM Object, you're searching for um, a, another type of chair, so first I would select my software and I would say bring it into Revit and I would search for the word chair to see what comes up. Let's say I really like this chair, I think it's better than the one that I just loaded. So let me see if I can download it. I click, I'm going to first have an account, I'm already logged in. After you create an account, you can click download and, it's, and it will show you sometimes all these different files. It's always good to always deselect and look for the RFA family. Or RFA, RFA uh, file. RFA stands for Revit Family. So sometimes if you select multiple things, this will come under a zip file. And so it's a lot faster if you just select the one you need. And in this case, there's no other ones, but, but just that one. So I'm going to click download. And I'm going to save it somewhere, right? In this case, I'm just going to save it um, on my downloads. I'm going to save it there. And then I have it ready to go. Now, all I really got to do is drag it into my project that I have open. So you can see just dragging and dropping it, and it's going to ask to update it. Sometimes it will ask this, uh, depending if it was created with an older version. So you can see now, the same way that we had loaded from somewhere else, now our Revit model is here. I can rotate it the same way, and I can place it. So I'm going to place it there. Let's say I want to delete this one because it's I already have one, but I'm going to select this. Now I'm going to look for the one I just brought, and I'm going to select it, and it's going to override it from the one I have. So you can already, you can still change it to the ones you had, um, just um, to existing ones. So take some time to download some objects and make your room as uh, 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 you know complete as possible. 
look for power outlets, look for maybe here some uh, something next to the bed, um, some lighting, and so on. 